Next yeah. tip. All right. The second one that I have brought in is Pyongyang Yu's ice cream. Ice cream, it is. Chemiso, chemiso. Oh, please put that in. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to WWW. I'm your host Coco, and this is also your host Edward. Eddie. Hi. Welcome back. Welcome back, Coco. Yes. Nice seeing you again this week. You look very excited today. I'm so excited today because we're <laughs> going to be talking about eye creams, and we have so many of We've them. We've got a lot. <laughs> today we're going to be talking about the most very expensive eye cream, La Mer. The yeah, eye concentrate Mer. ice eye cream, and it's right here. This is. $260. I feel like this batch is probably like $50 already. I know, right? That's probably where the 50 is. Yeah. But anyways, it's over $17 per gram. That's ridiculous. Ridiculously expensive. Um, I actually have tried this eye cream. Your girl has uh, very bad dark circles uh, and I'm very desperate to find like the perfect eye cream. So I have to actually try this. I'm going to be so honest. It has you. done nothing. I expected so much from it, mm -hmm. but nothing. Yeah. For me, wrinkles. Yes. Yeah, I'm a heavy yeah. tapper, so I get wrinkles on the sides, but I don't like it. Mm -hmm. Their main ingredient or whatever is like seaweed, like yeah, seaweed sea extract. Sea marine. Yeah, La Mer is actually the sea in French. Oh, okay. It's just very creamy. It's very hydrating, but it doesn't really last that long. But this one, it's pretty like lightweight in texture. Mm. I'll be honest, a lot of the other stuff here that we're about to show is much thicker, mm -hmm. which I. I like feel it might be better, but okay. that will be up to the viewers. So, first one, we've yes. got uh, Benton Fermentation Eye Cream. Um, it contains high quality fermented ingredients. So, kind of in continuation of our first episode where we talked yeah. about essences and fermented mm -hmm. things, it entered the top five of this really famous Korean beauty program. Ooh. But also, it's a uh, hypoallergenic. It doesn't yeah. have like those like harmful kind of like mm -hmm. ir irritating ingredients. Mm -hmm. So probably a really good option for sensitive skin. Benton. This is a, gonna be a running theme in our skincare videos where <laughs> they all look the same. Yeah. It feels chok chok -e. It's moisturizing. <laughs> the La Mer, you describe as like this light gel yes. sort of texture, but uh -huh. with this, it's more of like a matte-ish. Yeah, it has a little bit of a matte finish. Kind of feels like a frosting almost. Yeah, 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 yeah. but it's really, Oh, we're gonna use this a lot. Moisturizing. <laughs> moisturizing. It's, really, it's really moisturizing. <laughs> As it should be. For As it all should I be. Can. Right, right, yeah. right, right. Anyways, yeah, this is good. And how much about is this? This one? <laughs> Never mind. Price check, please. <laughs> Never mind, I'm just kidding. Anya? Okay. Okay, the second one that I brought in is Pyongyang Yu's ice cream. I keep trying to say ice cream, but it's right here. This package, look at this. It's so extra. Yeah, when I first saw the packaging, it, was, it came in a box, and I was just like, yeah. what? And it's like, it was really big, but it explains. It is, yes, in a very beautiful container. Wow, it's like so cold. Yeah! Ta -da. Ta -da. Ta -da. You get 50 little packages, travel size, and I love how they came up with this idea because mm. it's super hygienic. Yeah, compared to like, if you have like a pot that you have to keep dipping into. Right! Yeah, right. Honestly, it gets kind of annoying, so later I just start to use my fingers. And then, also when they have like the cap on top. I just throw oh, it out. I don't. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, I still use the cap though. Yeah. All right, and you can use each packet for just like it'll last you two or three days actually. When mm. I first saw, I was worried. I was like, only fifty, but I use one. It's the cream itself is mm -hmm. super thick yeah. and really like a little bit, a tiny bit goes a long, long way. Yeah. So when you squeeze it out, ta da. It has an almost like uh -huh. sherbet, yeah, yeah, yeah. sherbet texture, uh -huh. like almost like it's whipped or fluffy. Yeah, it's so fluffy. It's so moisturizing. I think this is why I keep saying ice cream. It kind of feels like an ice cream, oh, and it melts of... into your skin. Oh. I like a little bit more meat in my mm -hmm. eye cream yeah, because yeah. you feel like you're getting something out of right. it. Right. Yeah, yeah. Especially with the skin around the mm -hmm. eye being so thin, mm -hmm. you kind of want something that will. Plump it right. up. And the scents of all Pyongyang Yu uh, products, they're very just like so aromatherapy like. It's just very soothing. Oh, I also want to just let you guys know I like to reapply um, my makeup throughout the day, especially like my eye area because I have dark circles. Mm -hmm. I like to reapply a little bit of <clears throat> lotion 
under mm -hmm. to rehydrate uh, it when your wrinkles are given the hydration they kind, kind of, of pumps it up again. yeah that pumps it up yeah, again yeah. so this would be perfect to like throw yeah. in your pouch we have the medi peel peptide mm. 9 hyaluronic volume eye cream and we were talking about peptides because you hear peptide a lot but you don't actually know what it well i don't i didn't know what it was <laughs> i just knew it was a good thing but peptides are basically the building blocks for things like elastin collagen, collagen keratin in the yeah. skin to help strengthen it. Mm -hmm. So with this one, it actually contains nine. There's actually other ingredients in here that are also in things like Botox Ooh. and Liptinin. Wow. So it, it's good for people like me that have like wrinkles. <laughs> the thing that I love about this as well is actually the texture, which Ooh. I don't know if you're gonna like, but um, what is the Korean one? Mozzarella. Ma Cheesy. It's like... <laughs> I love it. Let's at play first, with it. of course. When I love it. But when you're absorbing it, like kind of rubbing and patting and blending uh -huh. into the skin, uh -huh. it goes away and absorbs really quickly. Uh -huh. So Ooh. it's really, really nice. And the fact that it's in like a tube of Ooh. packaging. She's having two of It's on your pants now. I'm I can do this all button. day. Yeah. All right. Okay, well, I'll stop. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, but for me, this is fun and all, but I don't know if I'll like this on my <laughs> on Of course, my you're not going to do that under your eyes. You'll at least a little bit and kind of tap it. Imagine me going like, my every day Only and day. she would do that. And I like that the packaging is a pump too. Oh, I like the pump. Very hygienic. Mm, well. Hygienic is key. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. The next one is Dalba's White Dalba. Truffle Multi-Treatment Eye Cream. Dalba's Mist is super popularly used by all the flight attendants. Mm. So it's called like the flight attendant mist. That's like legit. And you know it's legit because it's on the flesh. plane, super dry. It's so dry. It's like a desert. Yeah. But all of the flight attendants, they're like, skin is glowing, right? Yeah, yeah. So you always wonder, like, what products they're using. Right, right, right. They're using Dalba. And their eye cream must be good as well because it contains white truffle, which is very expensive, mm -hmm. and it's promising anti-aging effects. This is the kind of uh, texture that I like personally for my eye creams mm -hmm. because if it's too, too much meat and it's too sticky, it can then... It your makeup yeah. Like Crease. Crease. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what and you And then mean. your wrinkles are just going to look worse. More. Yeah. yeah. Korean flight tents are using things, and that's when you know. You yeah, because their skin's so perfect yeah, all I'm the like, time. Sitting right? on the plane, like my drawing, like, <laughs> just like this, and then they're like, oh, like so glossy. Perfect, right? Then you know it's going to work. Yeah. yeah. Right. All right. Next up, AHC Time Rewind Real Eye Cream for Face. For Face. One every 1.6 seconds. That's crazy. Oh. Sold. Sold right now. Yeah. Sold right now. And then one. Sold right now. Another one sold right now. Someone's buying it right now. Precisely. It's always sold out on a uh, home shopping. Yeah. Home shopping in Korea is like no joke. <laughs> no so joke. when it's sold out on there, you know it's legit. They're serious. Earlier we were talking about peptides. Mm -hmm. 34 different 34? Yeah. Oh my gosh. I think the uh Oh I gotta try this one. Oh, this is very different from all of the other. Because mm. a lot of the ones we've been trying are, have that more like matte yeah. kind of feeling, uh -huh. but this one is definitely more, I guess, like glossier. Mm -hmm. I remember Anne Hathaway was the model for Asian. Yeah. That was so random. That was kind of random. Yeah. But... I think it's because she, she had the same initials. Oh, is that why? Maybe. Who knows? Oh. Little uh, applicators, interesting. Not yeah. that it's going to make a huge difference, but it's like this like slit yeah. thing. Reminds me of uh, that bottled liquid cheese in America, in a tube that's like this. Anyway. We're talking about cheese. Yeah, to make it easier to spread on the, the sandwich. Yeah. But it's fantastic, I agree. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> moving on to one of my favorites out of all of these today, because I have actually tried this one. It is Swanee Coco. I was going to say, because your name isn't it. <laughs> that too. Swanee Coco. Coco. Oh. Fermentation Peptide Care Eye Cream. And this has won so many awards. Oh, really? I swear by this product because... Oh, so important. I love the texture, I love the ingredients, I love just how it feels, and I've actually wore it today as well. Today, uh, look in my eyes. I can confirm, they are <laughs> wrinkle free. Oh. Yes, and it helps improve good. dark circle. Yes. That's good, because a lot of eye creams will just fix like wrinkles. Right. But I know a lot of people these days have dark circle yeah. concerns. Mm -hmm. For me, I just, Inject filler, but that's a whole other story. 
Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> the texture. Please tell us about the texture. The texture, it's yeah. like the way it absorbs. It's, uh -huh. It almost feels like a cream, like a subun cream mm -hmm. in a way, fast absorbing texture. Right, right. So again, if you're more into, you want deep hydration, but you don't want glossiness and like mm -hmm. dewiness all over, then that mm -hmm. actually feels nice. Which yeah. I think is why they're saying that it's good for under makeup. Yeah. Because it doesn't feel like it's going to interfere with anything. Right, right, right. It's not too cakey. Like slippery. Yeah, and, slippery yeah. and yeah. Mm, yeah. Next one. Next two. I'm gonna have to say like the Korean pronunciation because it's Alenshila. Alenshila. CPP Caviar 80 Lux Repair Eye Cream. Lux. Caviar. Caviar. That's something we're talking about yeah. for the first time in this episode. Caviar, you rich know, people food. Very expensive. Delicacy. Yeah, so I don't imagine this being cheap to make. But it is more affordable than the La Mer. Right, 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 right. Crazy. It's supposed to help like skin nutrition. Mm hmm. I didn't know that was a thing, but if it's <laughs> nutritious for the skin, I'm uh -huh. about it because I'll eat McDonald's every day, but if yeah. I can give my skin caviar, <laughs> I will do it. You're going to be eating McDonald's, but you're going to be putting on caviar. Yeah, it's like those people that order a lot of food and then they're like, then a Diet Coke, please. Oh my gosh, yeah. that's you. It also has snail mucus yeah. in there, which was definitely like a trend a few years ago. Yeah, like it a, was. A little trail that the snail leaves mm -hmm. is supposed to help uh, repair. repair skin. Mm -hmm. And it contains venu... Venusian? Venusian? Venusian. Coco, help me. Venusian. <laughs> which is an uh, ingredient that helps photo aging. Oh! Yeah, so basically, I had to look this up, but it's basically if you have wrinkles or whatever from mm -hmm. sun damage. Like Photo! If, photosynthesis! That's. N yeah. Photo photosynthesis. Photosynthesis. That is not oh. the same thing, but. <laughs> So, uh, if you're kind of late in the game with wearing sunscreen uh -huh. and you kind of are around in the sun a lot and you have wrinkles from that, right. things like this will help that. Show us the texture. Texture wise. Oh, it's very uh, it clear. It kind of looks like the one that you like, the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Swanee Coco. Yeah. It actually feels very similar. Slightly really? thicker. Mm. This is very shiny. It gives a very like shiny mm. uh, finish. I know some eye creams, like Satin in America, finish. will mm -hmm. have like mica in it to add like shimmer mm -hmm. so that when you put it under your eyes it's supposed to like bounce back light to make you look oh, right, like, right, right, right. more youthful yeah. in a way. But this one just has like a natural glow I think. Mm. Yeah, this is good. Mm -hmm. I like it. Last but not least, I have brought in the Hamish Marine Care Eye Cream. And you guys probably know Hamish because of their super famous all clean balm, yep. which is their steady seller. Mm. Super nice, super sensitive for, you know, sensitive skin. Mm. But anyways, they have made the perfect dupe for La Mer. Because just look at it. They have the applicator. They have it in this little pod. But they have double the amount. So this really? is 30 grams. That one is 15 grams. Oh. And this one is just $40, while that one is 260 when What's it has... Main ingredient in that one. Main ingredient is same as La Mer, mm. the seaweed. 51% included. Oh, it actually, it's much thicker. Oh, it smells fresh. Yeah. It smells nice. Oh my God. Okay. Try that. Okay. <laughs> Creeping me mm. out. Okay. And <sighs> enough with your. Okay. But it goes under your eyes, so it's not like you're gonna smell yes, it anyway. Yes, so. yes. Actually, a little bit more meatier than the La Mer one. Yeah. It's a little bit thicker, yeah. um, which I like mm -hmm. because you feel like you're getting more right, right. out it of the... Right, right. It feels more comfortable under here. Yeah. Try it with the applicator. You have to try it with the applicator. So the applicator is supposed to help with, you know, just the soft massage, uh -huh. you know, that the helps puffiness. with blood circulation. Uh -huh. And of course, like the puffiness mm -hmm. gets rid of bloat. You actually don't even need to put these in the microwave. Oh, the microwave. microwave. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to do that. You actually don't need to put these in the, the fridge because yeah. it, it's almost like it just stays cold. It does, yes. Oh, and you don't waste yeah. product because it's just metal. Mm -hmm. It's not going to absorb it. Mm -hmm. <gasps> yeah. Oh, and also, apparently that's uh, cruelty-free. Yes! Compared to La Mer, La Mer. which is Mer. not cruelty-free. Ha, I did my research. Good. Yeah. Because I know that's like a thing that people, even bar ingredients aside, people will often ask about cruelty-freeness. Right, right, right. So that's yeah, cool. so that's, that's very important natural. as well. Wow, that was good. We that was we went through everything. A lot of eye cream, but a lot of eye cream. 
but I definitely have my favorites. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah you do too. Yeah, so. of course. Yeah. I feel like a lot of it comes down to textual preference. Right, textual preference. Because I like sticky. Yeah. Or like thick. the packaging. Because uh, I would definitely choose like, you know, this for mm, traveling. Yeah, I like that. And like just keeping it like every every day with me. But then you like that, that one. one. Yeah. I would definitely use this for like nighttime, and then I would use this for like daytime. During the day. Mm, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Next, Next episode. episode. Oh. We're talking about shading, contouring. <laughs> yeah. So stay tuned for that. We we're gonna bring in our forties again. So yeah. Please like, subscribe, Please. leave comments down below if you guys want to see us, and leave the bell notifications on to see more of us. If you want to. If you want to. I can understand if you don't want to see her, but. If you want to see me, make sure you hit that bell. So we'll see you next time. Okay, one. bye. Bye. Bye.